going on guys I'm back at you again and we're gonna talk about this Packers game and let's get right into it so first play what is going on what is my rusher doing you see him take the inside route he tries to beat the block to the inside crashes inside no edge no chance goes right by where he should have been look at this guys actually hold on it's going a little fast if this guy goes outside shoulder, look, if he goes this way, outside shoulder like he's taught to do, guess what? He forces that back into all his buddies. Now you got guys falling on their face. Look at this. Look at this. Cam Akers is not even a good running back. False start. No one's really trying to get to him. Four Packers there, and no one can get to the ball. Look at this. Look at this. Four guys around him, and no one decides to get near him. The fact that there's four guys in one area, that's alarming. Wide open player. He doesn't see him. He didn't see him, guys. He didn't see him. The first read right there is open. He had the in route right there, and he just sits there and holds it. But what did 79 do? 79 is shuffling, guys. He's not doing his technique, and that's what happens when you start shuffling. He did the kickback once in the shuffle, but somehow Baker, nobody couldn't get out of it. Inside route, they do a twist. Where is my coverage, though? Why is he so far off? He's like 10 yards off of him. That's what happens. It's pitch and catch. I don't know why you're playing man coverage so far off. Like, you're basically saying complete the pass when you play that far off. They do pitch left. This guy goes to the inside. Look at him. He doesn't beat the block. You got to get to the inside of that block. I know he crack blocks him, but guess what? This guy used needs to be yelling crack, 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 crack. So this guy knows that this guy is blocking him. And then this guy needs to fly down and replace. And then that guy needs to drop behind that. Let's see if they play that properly. This guy gets cracked. And then this guy's sinking back. It's a toss. You can see he's tossing the ball. This guy should be replacing because this guy's got cracked. He's backing off. This is going to be a nice little run. Now he comes up. But it's going to be, he's going to get blocked. <clears throat> It's a decent tackle. 53. Where did 53 come from? 53. Eh, he did okay. Could have took a better angle, but he ends up making a tackle. That that really should have been a loss. A tackle for a loss. And they end up getting a first down on it. It's little things, guys, like that in football. It's literally little things. Uh, first of all, what's up with this rush? Leonard Floyd goes to the inside, so he's not trying to get there, guys. Like he like with no replacement on the outside. Like, come on now. That's blatantly stupid. Leonard, he takes it on with his inside shoulder. Where, where's my D tackle? Oh, my D tackle leaves his gap, guys. Look at how stupid this is. Watch this guy. Where is 92 going? Instead of playing his gap straight ahead, this man goes and shares gaps. And humps this guy, basically. Humps his teammate. Well, no, he doesn't hump him that time. He goes next to him and covers an A-gap that's already covered. Like, I don't understand the logic in that. No defensive coordinator would tell you to leave your gap and go into a gap that's already covered. He, like, no, bro. You would stay in this gap right here and plug this hole up. And then this number 45 would make the tackle. Because you would be taking on that lineman right there. Instead, he runs into a gap that's already covered. Guys, it's little things, man. That's all it is. It's stupid little things that these NFL players are doing. Oh, per oh no, this is a different play, I think. Let's see. Let's If this is the same play, let's see what this guy does. Nope, they won't show it, guys. Because you see, they, they would show that that guy moves out of the way. But let's see this guy. All right. Yeah, they're not really rushing to get there. They finally do, though. They're doing bull rushes on the outside. They could have really done a swim or a spin and get there quicker. 
finally get there. Whoa, one flag is up, the other is not. How is that not fishy to you guys? Look at this. How is one flag going up this way? This flag is down. That automatically should be fishy to you guys. That should be fishy to you guys, honestly. Those flags don't lay a thing, like at all. So the fact that one is lifted and the other is not, it's because they have pieces of metal on the end of it. A ring of metal, it's very small. Baker, Baker, Baker. You gotta throw this into the dirt. Like, he almost tried to just give this away. Won't harp on that too much. Next play. Where's my edge player? He backs off. He should have went right to the flat. He should have had eyes on number three and went right to the flat, guys. He would have had a play instantly. That's on 896 right there. I know he's not a linebacker. They dropped him back. He's not used to it, but <clears throat> he's coached to look to number three and then react. If number three goes out, you run with him. If they drop you back, oh, absolutely. Whoa, where's my defensive end? Doesn't rush, guys. He's not rush. Oh, he's uncovered. All right, let's see. That's the wrong guy. This guy goes all the way inside, guys. Instead of fighting outside, look at him. Just sitting there. What is he doing? What is he doing? Giving Aaron Rodgers all the time in the world. And even with all the time in the world, Rodgers still, still, his feet set. Actually, let's see. Look at his feet, actually. Look at his back foot. Nah, bro. Yeah, he wasn't trying to throw this properly. Look at his back foot. You would not step in like that at all. You just wouldn't step in like that. He sailed this, guys. He was leaning back, and he didn't really keep his back foot planted. He, like, stepped off of it. So, yeah, <laughs> all the time in the world, his mechanics were off. So, that tells you he wasn't trying to complete that pass. This parlay bet, there's probably a bet saying that he can't score in the first quarter yet. You know what I mean? A touchdown. There, there are bets within bets that these uh, players know about, and they have to abide by those. My defensive end is patty caking, goes outside, but where does my D tackle go? He gets turns his shoulders, guys. His back is turned to the play. It's like he didn't want to make the play. This guy right here. It, he literally has his back to the play in the gap that he's supposed to cover, 95. Watch him. What is he doing? Like, 95, what are you doing? Turn your shoulders, bro. If, if you can't turn your shoulders, then it means they're holding you. So it just shows you that he wasn't trying to. So I don't want to hear none of that nonsense from you fanboys. Play action. Yeah, the D-line's not trying to get there. No one in the flats, except for the receiver. How is this play on highlight? He just throws it to the... That shows you how boring this game was. Look at my defensive end. Let me... Actually, let me let this play out, and I want to pause it right here. If I were to pause it right here, you would think that this guy was the D-tackle, and that this guy is the defensive end. But no, this is supposed to be our edge player, and this is a linebacker. So, like, this is so out of whack. Like, no, you wouldn't, no, 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 no. This guy should be playing the outside all day long. This guy should be covering his B-gap. And then this guy cleans it up. And let's see what they do. Look, this guy crashes all the way inside, and this guy comes way too far in. Look at that. You would not want that to happen. It's like they fit to those blocks on purpose. It's like they wanted to get blocked. Like, you would never play that play like that. You just wouldn't. And that is a penalty right there. He literally shoves him at the end. Like, that that was a penalty. Like, this is definitely an on-purpose penalty. Like, you know you can't do this. In slow motion, you see how egregious it is. He's out of bounds, and then he shoves him when he's all the way on the uh, plastic over there. That plastic wrap they have. So, yeah, that's that's definitely a penalty. On purpose, he did that on purpose, completely, utterly. Helping them out, helping them score, get them closer, keep this a little nicer of a score. Uh oh, and he, this should have been picked off. <clears throat> Baker knows you can't throw this, man. He knows better, and this defender's not really trying to catch this guy. Look at look at his hand placement. 
Come on, guys. Look at his hand placement. He wasn't trying to pick this. This is basically when you see a wrestling match and you see a, uh, a, a wrestler that's trying to perform his finishing move and the other wrestler gets out of it. Yeah, that's basically the equivalence right there, what you see right here. This is Triple H getting flipped over someone's back when he's trying to do the uh, pedigree. This is, this is Stone Cold Steve Austin flipping him over his back. Yeah, that's what that is. So stupid. Now this flag, you see this flag's lifted and that flag is not. Now that it's settled again, right? Just keep your eyes on that. So now, look at 53, guys. Just look at 53. What, what is he doing? So he's pretending to blitz, backs out. What does he slip on? What does he slip on? He wasn't trying to pick that off, guys. Because this is a pick. All he has to do is run underneath this. Run underneath this. He's just not trying to pick it. That's all that was. Play action. There's no edge. Look at my end. Look, that's my end, guys. My end is just playing patty cake. He's not rushing, guys. He's not trying to rush. This is going to be a big play. Or a decent play, anyway. And then now, oh, now all of a sudden he can run? That's the guy that was just sitting there the whole time. Now all of a sudden he can run, guys, and react. I find that funny. False start. Wide open. And another wide open. 33, the Freemason tackle. Wide open. Yeah, the Rams aren't playing any underneath defense. They're giving up anything 5 to 10 yards is just a give up. They literally just are giving that up. D-tackle. Gets a double team. They go right through him. Look at my end. Takes himself out of the play. This D-tackle is trying to strafe. He actually makes the play. Could have made it sooner, but he made it nonetheless. Now we have a run. Was this the play where the guy just moves out of the way? D tackles right here. Let's see if this is the play. Yeah, he moves out of the gap, guys. And then now the middle is wide open. This is the play where the guy moves on out of the way. You, you see a lot of this part in the Red Sea in the NFL. The guy moves out of the middle. Like watching on TV perpendicularly, you cannot see that. There's a hole here. But if you see it from north-south... You, you, you saw yesterday when I showed that view, this hole is the size of Texas. So this running back is literally running through a, a freaking river, an empty river. It's crazy. This guy literally just moves out of the way and goes next to another player in a gap. But most fans aren't going to see that. They're not going to know that. It just looks like a bunch of fat guys fighting each other. And you don't know. Most NFL fans don't know like gap responsibilities like at all. I would say 98% of people don't know gap responsibilities. So that, that wouldn't look weird to anyone. It just looks like a good run. But it's there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it. False start. You really can nitpick when you put this in slow motion. This dude literally did a whole spin after catching it. That's how slow that this guy is pursuing. He's standing straight up running at him. Now, false start again. It's always that right tackle, guys, on the Rams. He must have a bad knee, bad ear, bad eye, bad everything, huh? Another uh, PLC. Can't even call that a pill cat. What are my D linemen doing? Oh, so both of my DNs. Go inside and meet each other. How about that? Look at that. DNs meet each other in the middle. Both of them crash inside and get taken out of the play. Good job. That's exactly what you would want there. Luckily for them, no one would. Actually, he had a guy open. Look at 81, guys. Let's pause right here. Look at 81 wide open. Why couldn't Baker get that ball to him? This just shows you that he wasn't really trying to win this game. These games are really scripted. They're probably trying to let the Packers make a late 
uh, push into the playoffs. They'll probably let them get in at 9-8 and eight or something stupid like that. That's probably what this is. The Rams are out of the playoffs. So Baker's not playing to win this game. They gave him his glory last week. So he has to play the script and lose this week. That's all it is, man. I didn't see too much manipulation on that one. Defense end crashes in. But he had a replacement, so I'll let that go. <clears throat> What's up with the coverage, though? Uh oh, they're playing that 10 yard off man. You gotta love that. Playing man coverage 10 yards off the ball. No one on this guy. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, so if this is a zone, this guy needs to just get right there right away, and this guy needs to get right on that. Him on him, him on him. I don't know what we're doing right here. This guy jams him way too long. Sits there way too long and finally reacts after it's thrown when he should have just been there the whole time. That's absolutely stupid. They run another flood concept. 33 with the Freemason tackle, but what is he doing? He literally was just flying in before the ball even arrived. Yeah, so if the Packers use this scheme, they can actually be a good playoff team. If they run the ball and do play action, this is what they should have been doing all year. So that's how you know that this is fake. Like, they, they were always a good team, but they just want him and Tom Brady to make a late push. And you'll probably see them in an NFC championship game. We'll see what happens. But, like, look at this. Look at the point of attack. Even though the Rams are not playing their gaps properly, you could see the physicality in the Packers. They, they love playing in the cold. You can see they're used to it. But look at 92, not really try to play his gap properly. Look at these two guys, not really fill. They just drop to the ground. Number two on his knees. They were just giving that up. They, they don't want to hit this guy. It's too cold. It's too, it's too much. Another screen. Not just a short, shallow route. They're basically just giving that up. Uh-oh, we're seeing a punt, guys. This can't be good. This cannot be good. Whenever they show a punt, gets it off the hop. And one guy overruns them. 44, terrible angle. 97, terrible attempt. And that really was just terrible. <clears throat> this has been a boring game. Fake Jeff Sweet. Whoa, look at my D-tackle, guys. Where is he going? Shoots inside, takes himself out of the play. Like, what are you doing? Like, who told you to do that? If anything, he should have just gone right in his gap. Play this gap right here. That's all you got to do. Play, Especially with the motion coming towards you, it just doesn't make sense. He would play that gap right there, guys. It's so dumb. There's your defensive end, 54. Not getting off the block, trying to just touch him. I, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. Play action. Where is my other defensive end going? Where is he going? Where is he going? Where is he going? Crashes inside. Takes himself out of the play. Look where he is, guys. Where is he going? He's supposed to be rushing the quarterback, guys. He's not trying to. I was wondering this whole time what the hell happened on this play. Now I found the play that's worth speaking about. Because this is cockeyed. Like, what the hell is going on? Wow, like I'm actually dumbfounded by this one. Like, what is going on? Like, this is a complete mess. So, this guy right here is supposed to be rushing on the edge. Supposed to be rushing on the edge, rushing on the edge. Now, he drops back. <laughs> what is he doing? And then now he rushes again. He's like, oh no, I'm going to rush again. And then, guy's wide open. That guy that caught the ball wasn't even in for a pass play. He was supposed to be blocking the whole time. But the reason he stopped blocking is because the guy that he shoved out of the play decided to go play in coverage. Now he's like, I don't know who to block. So he's like, huh, let me just go out for a pass. Since this guy I was blocking decided to do his own thing. And that's what happens, man. So stupid. In like real time, I didn't really know what happened. 
because it would just go so fast. But now seeing it, it's just so egregiously stupid. Like, I can't even believe that that guy did that. Like, what would possess him to do such a, something so stupid? Something so egregious? I just don't get it. Like, no one teaches you to do that, ever. Like, I, I've never seen something so stupid. But then again, the NFL never disappoints. So what is my end doing here? Is he just going to stand there? Stands there, doesn't rush, just stands there. Now runs terrible angle. Number two, I don't know what he does there. That's all bad. Number two could have easily made the play. That, that was bad. The Rams came here to lose. No intensity, no want to, no try. Trying at all. Where, where's my defense end now? Oh, he's crashing inside. Not playing the outside. Just sitting there. Gotcha. Like, at least show effort. Like, that's the thing about this. They don't even show effort to try to do their jobs properly. They just half-ass it. That's what gets me about it. There's no effort. Like, it's not even like you're like, oh, I see him. He's trying his hardest to get to his spot, but he's getting outmanned. He's getting outmatched. Nope, it's none of that. It's just guys just doing anything they want to do. Crashes inside, guys. No edge, no chance. But that's not even play side. Play side goes, takes itself out of the play, runs by the play. What does my D-tackle do? Gets dominated. Instead of dropping to the ground, he just backpedals and turns his shoulders. That's just stupid. That was really stupid. A lot of bad football, guys. False start, right tackle every time. Wide open. Look at the Packers. Just let him catch this. There's no trying on this guy. Look at this guy jogging. 29. Look at him. 29 gave this up. 31 gave this up. Look, is there effort on that? Let's slow it down even a little more. Like, you tell me. Were they really trying on that to stop this? Like, like you can see the effort or lack thereof. Look at this. Look at 29. Look at 31. They're not trying to stop this play. There's no effort on that. 31 doesn't even try to hit him. He just catches him. Absorbs him. He literally absorbed the guy. He didn't try to hit him. Try to dislodge the ball. He absorbed him. He, he tolerated him. It, it, it's egregiously stupid. The, the softest football players in the world. Oh, guys, look at, look at the flags, guys. Now they're both lifted. Remember I told you to pay attention to that? Now they're both lifted. Let's see if they sail his kick now. Can you say manipulation? You see, now both flags are lifted, guys. Now, I tell you, they manipulate these kicks, man. They manipulate. There are magnets on these poles. There's magnets in the poles, and there's magnets in the balls. Like, I'm telling you. Like, they control this stuff. It's not even close. So now, all of a sudden, both flags are lifted, but before you have one lifted or none. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Nice tackle attempt, guy. Ter like great angles, right? Look at look at these. This looks like an offensive play. Look at everyone bunched together. Like, what special teams coach would tell anybody to do this? This looks like an offensive play. You need white shirts down a line. So if he picks a direction, there's someone there. But now he can go all the way to the right, our left, because no one's playing their lanes. They're all on a ball. Like this is so stupid. Even the kicker is out of place. And is he gonna get to the angle? He better hope he does, and he does. That's how you get an angle. But they gave that up on purpose, clearly. Clearly. And they do nothing with it, though. Ah, uh, this is Aaron Rodgers just taking a sack. This is a bad one, guys. Aaron Rodgers, what are we doing? Third and ten. Just throw it right now. If he throws it right now to 13, if he's really trying to complete this pass and get the first... 13 catches this right up field. Probably easily gets this first down. So he's not really trying to get this first down, guys. He, he wanted the sack, and he got it. He got exactly what he wanted. Ask and you shall receive. Now you have... What is 91 doing? You have 91 just lounging back, having a good old time. Oh, yeah, this was the flop that Baker had where he pretended to get hit and literally just throws it up. 
Like, he didn't even get hit on that, guys. The announcers will make it seem like he did, but literally he didn't even get hit. He flopped on this one, and it doesn't even matter. The Packers give the ball right back to them. Let's just get right to that, because they'll probably show that right now where the Packers just give the ball right back, because they weren't supposed to throw that interception. It went against plan. It went against the script. Now they got to rewrite and fix what they did. Where, where's, look at this D tackle. Guy's just moving out of the way. Look at him. Look at this guy. Just moves out of the way. Now your deep. Now your middle linebacker is in the middle on a three hundred pound lineman. Like, come on, Bobby. You know better than that. You wouldn't run in and absorb him because you know you're the middle backer. You need to be back here to make the tackle. You being engaged on a center doesn't do good for your team, and he knows that. This is Bobby Wagner. You don't think he knows not to run into a lineman? Like, it's just so stupid. They're probably going to fumble the ball right here. That's probably why he did that. He's probably like, eh, this should be a dead ball. And then now you're going to see the running back just lose the football. Where is it the next play? Oh, yeah, see, that was supposed to be a dead ball, guys. So the referees, they knew to not blow the whistle. They knew they got to give the ball back. This That's all that is, guys. It's the same garbage, same same. Sh Different toilet. Same poop, different toilet. That's all it is. And now, look at my defensive end. Look at him. He chooses to crash inside, inside route. But that's because they had an outside blitzer. So I'll give that away. I'll give that a pass. They had an outside uh, blitzer to replace him. This time they do a twist, and the backside end goes inside on a twist and gets there. So that actually works out that time. It only The only time you should be crashing inside is when it's designed to do so as a twist or a scheming stunt. But you never want to just be the one crashing in by yourself with no replacement. It makes no sense. Look at this guy. Oh, okay, they didn't do a jet sweep. I thought they were doing it. They didn't. They tricked me. But now this this guy got tricked. He comes up, sits next to his guy. Like, what is the point of having two guys one yard next to each other when you have 10 yards of space and someone wide open? That just shows you somebody should have been there. And you got two guys next to each other. Three guys. And then look at this guy. Decides to not even move. Sits there. Takes a break. And then moves. And then this guy is just sitting there. Now you have two safeties next to each other. I don't understand what's going on. It's like the Rams are just kind of doing anything right now. I don't even know what to call this. This is a coverage I've never seen in my entire life. Like, I really don't know what to call this. This is like the other video we did where we, they just played anything, and we didn't know what to call it. We'll just call that a, a foreign coverage. Foreign cover three. Or cover foreign, we'll say. Whenever we don't know what the, what the coverage is, we'll call it cover foreign. So we got another motion. They're trying to end the game here and just run out the clock, clearly. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Play action. Look at my end. Look at my stupid defensive end. Goes inside. Like, where are you even going? Like, get out there. Like, it's just every time, man. 97 has played a terrible game. And the guy, 54, hasn't played that well. All Their whole D-line, honestly, hasn't played well. Look at it. Look at 91. Like, what are we doing? Look at 54. Like, why are you taking yourself out of the play? Goes inside, takes yourself out of the play. And that's all that is. No edge, no chance, boys. I think we can talk about that one, especially if he scores. Nah, we'll just talk about it. 11, 18, about. So we got a couple plays we can talk about that were just ridiculously stupid. So there's that. I think there's just a couple more plays. I don't think the Pack Packers, I don't think they're trying to score here. Like, this would just be salt in the wound. They're just trying to get the first. But, yeah, they get the first. Because this would mess up Vegas's points, I bet. Because there's people that probably said that the Packers would score like 31 points, right? Or 30 points, right? So now those people that bet that are screwed. And now Vegas probably had a lot of people betting on 24. Now they're going to get the score they desired. See how good that works out for them? It's perfect. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, boys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.